Hello. Since we're planning a trip to Tibet this summer, we're planning it as a medical mission. Uh, being a pediatrician, I'm going to visit two orphanages in the area, in a remote village. And for the occasion, we're going to learn some Tibetan phrases uh, from one of the Tibetan uh, language tutors. But since I don't know any Tibetan phrases yet, uh, I figure I will use this opportunity to teach you some Mandarin phrases that may become useful when you're traveling abroad. And there are many parts of Asia that speak primarily the Mandarin uh, dialect. Uh, this includes most of mainland China, uh, definitely most of Taiwan, even though you might come across some of the local population who will use uh, and prefer uh, Taiwanese or the Fukanese dialect instead. Also, when you're traveling Hong Kong, even though the predominant dialect is Cantonese, uh, if you know how to speak Mandarin, that might get you around uh, to many of the places as well. Uh, and also, from the popular movie Crazy Rich Asians, when you're traveling in Singapore, uh, your Mandarin language skills may come in handy as well, since um, over 70% of the population in Singapore speak Mandarin. Anyway, um, so the first phrase I want to say is, uh, I'll teach you is airport. Airport is qi chang, qi chang in Mandarin. Again, the qi chang. And the airplane is beiji, beiji. And if you want to book a hotel, hotel in Mandarin is Lu Guan. Lu Guan. And if you want to say um, date of arrival, or just to say arrival or departure, uh, arrival is Dao Da, departure is Li Kai. These phrases. Dao Da just simply means arrive. Li Kai means to leave. These are also general phrases that you can use in other situations that uh, outside of the airport or traveling. If you're just uh, arriving at the host family, you can say Wo Dao Da Le. I have arrived. Wo Dao Da Le. If you're leaving um, a restaurant or hotel, you can say Li Kai Wo Li Kai Le. I left. The addition of le in Chinese implies an action that has been completed already. So this is similar to the past tense in English. There is no conjugation for verbs in Chinese because Chinese are, is a character-based language. So the verb, the actual verb cannot be modified in any way. So in order to uh, convey a sense of time, whether it's an action completed or to be completed, you actually use additional words in your sentence structure. So if you uh, add the word la at the end of the sentence, that means the action has been completed already. If you say, for example, if you say, I have eaten, uh, that means I have eaten. Uh, the addition of le at the end of the sentence means uh, it's already done. You have eaten already. Okay, I know there's not too many phrases for this lesson, but I um, figure I use a little bit of spare time on the Thursday morning to um, add some more content to my channel. Thank you for watching.